Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and the metals are spiking. And I know people have lots of questions about that. What does it mean for you personally, and what does it mean for the coin collected market? And for those of you who have bullion, what does it mean for you? So, what does it mean for you personally has an awful lot to do with what your personal financial situation is. So, personal finance is personal, it'll vary widely from person to person. Um, you may have found out through this COVID that your job is not as secure as you thought it was. Maybe you have precious metals that you bought in 1990 and it's worth a lot more today. And maybe you've just decided, you know what, I'm going to pay off a bunch of debt so I don't have overhead so that I have more versatility in my lifestyle, right? Or maybe you don't have much metals at all. That's okay. Uh, maybe you have a lot of metals and a lot of money and you know, you're just going to hold on to stuff no matter what happens. So it'll affect everyone differently. So what does it mean for the coin market? For the coin market, what it means is peace dollars that I was selling for $15 before, I'm selling for $20 now. And Morgan dollars that I was selling for $24 before, I'm still selling for $24 currently. Now, having said all that, that can change pretty rapidly. What this is going to do as the metals rise is the bottom part of the market will continue to rise up and up with the price of metals. And we saw this in 2008 through 2012, when you saw the push up and you saw silver go to $40 an ounce, you know, you're gonna see something similar, similar to that again. I don't know if the metals are gonna keep going up, but it just kind of has that same feel that it did in 2009, 2010, 11, uh, where I think we're gonna see upward, upward action for a while anyways, and I don't see why not. When you, when you just spend $6 trillion because you know you can, yeah. Why not? So, so for the coin market, you're going to see a lot of coins that are common coins that are going to be sold based on the metal market. This is true for gold and silver. You may start to see, um, unfortunately, you're going to see a lot of the gold get pushed, uh, slabbed graded gold is going to get pushed into these guys that sell. You know, if you listen to uh, mostly right wing radio, uh, you'll see this is where these guys advertise gold a lot and you know, nothing against buying gold or silver, but, you know, those companies that tend to push certified coins at high premiums, I think you're going to start seeing a lot more of that. So be aware of that. Be careful. If you want to buy bullion, buy bullion. Do not buy collector coins as from a, from a bullion company. Just never do that. That's a bad idea. Those companies are going to uh, overprice things to you, basically. So, um, you're going to see gold and silver, different parts of the market move up. Now, what does it mean for the bullion market, the bullion collector, the bullion somewhat investor? Um, have a plan. This is the biggest mistake that people have is they don't have a plan. They go into it and it's like, okay, now we're here. Now what do we do? So if you've got metals and you've been wanting to um, liquidate or wait for a certain time, you kind of have to know what your out is. What are your numbers that you want? before you sell certain items and you kind of have to know that ahead of time and you don't have to sell everything at once you know i see a lot of people who do kind of a step up program where they say hey at this number i'm selling 25 percent. at this number i'm selling 25 percent of what i have left you know and so on and so on and they just kind of gradually move out so it just kind of depends on what your view is what your personal financial situation is but do have a plan and that's true for coin collecting as well having a plan will make you a happier collector, uh, knowing exactly what you're going to go get. Anyways, I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, having a plan and the metals market. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner up here and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.